This is the plaintiff, Donna Collado. She says she hired the defendant to build her a patio, and he did a great job. Over the winter, the steps began to crack, so she called him to complain. He acted like he didn't even know her, denied doing her job, and refuses to make the repairs. She had to hire someone else to correct his mistakes. She paid him $2,000 and is suing for just that today. Raise your right hand. You see it? Come to order, please. The living has been sworn. Thank you, Ms. Collado. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. So we're going to do things a little bit differently in this case, uh, as you can probably see, that there's no one standing at the defendant's table just now. The reason for that is because, as you know, the defendant's defense is that you've got the wrong guy. So I intend to ask you some questions about what happened and, and have you describe that person. Because, and it wouldn't be fair to him to be standing here while you're describing him. All you got to do is look to the left, right? So I asked for him to stay outside. He's watching through closed circuit right now. So what happened here? I hired Nelson Raposa to do a patio for me in August, the beginning of August. And he started it. It was supposed to take three to five days, weather permitting. It ended up taking almost a month. The end of August, it was finished. And then in February... Now you were first happy with it, right? Like I was like, happy with it, yeah. What happened in February? Um, well, with all the snow, I was shoveling the back patio, and I noticed against the house, the ledge that was built was just crumbling and disintegrating do all the way down. Do you have pictures of it? Did you see the pictures? All right. Let's see the pictures. Okay, here is the before patio. Is this before what? That's what it looked like before he started it. Before he started? That's... Finished. And who is that up there? That's Nelson Raposa. Okay. How tall is he? Maybe 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, A little taller than me. Where's he from? Do you know? I believe Taunton. Okay. Who's that? That's who he says is not him. When I was in contact with him on the phone, he texted me that was supposed to be a picture of himself. Okay. So hold on. You had a number for Nelson, what's the name? Raposo. Nelson Raposo. I have two different numbers for him. No, and then but I... hold on, slow down. You had an original number and just one number. Yes. And then what happened? You couldn't reach him at that number anymore? Um, I did reach him at that number, but somehow I got, he called me on another number um, at home, and the caller ID said Wendy Raposo, which is his wife. I did a little investigating, okay. and it's his wife. Okay. So I noticed you know, the number, I used that number from then on, and I recognized his voice, and he still swore it wasn't him. Okay. What color hair does Nelson Raposo have? Light brown. It's thinning. He always wears a funny little hat. Okay. So you're positive this is the guy? I am. Okay, let's bring the defendant in. Ooh, I can't wait. Hi. How are you? Good. Swear him in. Yes, swear him in. Raise your right hand for me, please. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. So up you got. Oh, yours, John. What'd you say? I didn't hear you. <laughs> Not him. Right. Mr. Raposo, who yes. are you? Nelson Another Raposo. Nelson Raposo. Correct. When was the first time you heard from the plaintiff? Uh, first time she called me, I guess it was 9-11 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning, 8 o'clock, the most. And? She, she kept calling me so much times that when I told her, it wasn't me. And I even told her, so I mean, she kept arresting me and calling me and texting me and calling okay, me Okay, where do you live? I live in Providence, Rhode Island. And where does the person who did your, your job is from another part? Okay, so how did she get your number? She claims that the number she called was the second number, Wendy's number. You claim it's Wendy's number. Is there a Wendy in your life? No. Can I see your license? Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's his name. He's exactly who he says he is. East Taunton? No. That's crazy. It is. Well, crazy. it's not. It's crazy only if you went to a, if you're, mistaken. I'd like to think you're mistaken and not lying. 
if you just went online and tried to find a contractor who was named Nelson Raposo and then picked the wrong Nelson Raposo, it's awful. Your testimony under oath is, oh, no, Judge, the number I talked to that guy on was my Nelson's wife's because he called me. You have, like, a very, you know, solid explanation for that. So the only way that you could be right is if the real Nelson Raposo sent in a fake to come in today to say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, except for that this guy's name is Nelson Raposo and he lives in Rhode Island. And that's who you picked. So I don't think you called Wendy's number. I think you picked a number out of a hat. I think you found a Nelson Raposo online, picked the number and started calling this one. And you told her she was wrong. What, is she, what do you do for a living? I'm a, I'm a contractor, I'm a painter. Do you do masonry work? No, I don't. Have you ever done masonry work? I did, but not patios. Have you ever done a patio like hers? No, sir. Okay, so you told her that, and what did she say or do? She said I'm a liar <laughs> so many times in other names I'm not even <laughs> going to say here. Um, I went through a lot of stuff with her. I even took a picture of myself in the morning, less than 8 o'clock in the morning, and sent it to her, this is me. I sent it to her, and she still didn't believe me. She, she thought me that maybe the, her Nelson Rapato had gotten, hey, wake up, take a picture of yourself. <laughs> and somebody I asked her, Your Honor, I asked, I asked her, do you have a picture of the guy who did, she sent me that picture and more, yeah, that's, which is that's, I have here. Yeah. And I look at the picture, I was like, wow, this guy is like, he doesn't look like me at all. No, how tall are you? I'm 6'3". Right. And this and is what I told her, and she told me my husband is 6'3". What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> That's what I told. I say, my husband is 6'3". You a thief, Ms. you Collado, a liar. if the guy's telling you, if, I mean, don't you want to sue the right guy? I do, and I actually, when I went to the courthouse, I looked up, well, I knew his wife's name was Wendy Raposa, and I saw the picture of him. So I went down to the Registry of Deeds, and the house is where they live. Did you serve this I, person at that house? I thought the court took care of that. I put the address that I have on the paperwork for the small claims case, and I just thought they would serve him at that address. That's what I thought. Well, then how on earth could we contact you? I don't know. <laughs> well, so, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't understand. <laughs> because one of her friends on Facebook did a research on me. Of course that's how it happened. And I it, know that's how, that's the only way to get the wrong guy. <laughs> and I know that you're suing the wrong guy because I, I know he's really him. <laughs> so now he's got a kind of claim against you for $5,000 for harassment. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. Can you get sued for defamation for putting an untruthful review on Yelp? No, it's an opinion. So how would anybody be able to prove whether you actually did it or not? But what if it's untruthful? What if you say something that's not opinion, but untruthful? Yeah, that sounds completely false. You should definitely be able to get sued for that. You should. Yes. Uh, what I think so. I think so. You know what? It teaches other people not to do it. And people go to Yelp to get good reviews and to see who is good and who's not. So, you know. Fair enough. Be truthful. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. So, were you laughing when she called you? Like, did you? Actually, I told it was a joke. How many times did she call you? I can count. No, so many. I, I need you I, to count them. Probably 20, 30 times on those days. That many? In the, and Dur text messages, too. During the court? How many times did she call you? 20 to 30 times? At least. During the course of how long? Uh, because she didn't call me no more because I block her. They, yeah, you should have done that on the second call. I, I mean, know, because this was, I told was a joke. And then she said, after I block her, she sent me a friend on Facebook and then a message just for me to be friend of her. That's when I knew who she was because I click in a picture, I stroll it and I see all the comments <laughs> from people saying she should have, uh, contact BBB, better business, Barry. Uh, somebody Bureau. says... Bear, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and uh, well, I, uh, somebody says you should have show up in his house, and he has this specific guy or a woman says like this. This is how she get me. He lives in Providence. She says I just send you your address, his address, his name, and his phone number where he lives. How do you know all that? Because it was on her Facebook, on her on public her page. On her Facebook, yes, Your Honor. Did that happen? I did I did, did a friend of yours from I Providence say, here's the guy? Gave me the Providence address, but when I did the investigating, I found out I'm he lived in sorry, East I'm sorry, except for that you're a liar then, because you told me that the number that he possesses is a number that called your house when you spoke to the right Nelson Rapazzo, and that's not true. You just told me now that it's exactly like he said. 
you just did an internet search or your friend did, your friend gave you a number and you decided to sue the person in Providence. That's what you did. But I didn't sue the person in Providence. Well, I did you the one did. In, in you Taunton. did. Yes, you did. You're lying about how you got this guy's phone number. Do you know the person who gave her your name? No. Not at all. Did they also give your phone number? Mm-hmm. And they create a Yap page too? Against me, Nelson Raposa talking bad things about me. I'm a thief. <laughs> Take a thing. That you're a thief? Yeah, I'm only see. in America. <laughs> you put a Yelp review on this guy? Of Nelson Raposa? How That's long the ago did you do that? that yeah, but you had the wrong guy. You just basically took the word of some friend of yours and said, hey, I found some guy in Providence. And you're like, woohoo! The phone number that you got is for the wrong guy. And if you don't realize that by now, there's no hope for you. I think you should realize that by now. Oh, well, I know that's not the right, right guy. You have dragged a guy into court. You have called him 20, 30 times. You have trashed his business on Yelp, and it's the wrong guy, right? So now he wants $5,000. <laughs> He's counterclaiming against you. You have a court date in Taunton, don't you? Yes. Do not dismiss that court date. Go to Taunton okay. and you're gonna see your Nelson Rapato. <laughs> I hope so. I hope because so. Because between the time you filed the case and now he has probably been served if you have not dismissed that case because you came to the people's court. I haven't dismissed you it. You haven't. Do not. And you can have your party with the right Nelson. Now what do I do with this Nelson, <laughs> who has come all the way down from Providence to face the music because you claim that you had for sure the right number, and we know you didn't, that you got that number through some generic way. Somebody goes, hey, sue this guy. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I mean, how long ago did you put that Yelp review? August, maybe. OK, I am ordering you to write a Yelp review saying you had the wrong guy. Or do you want her just to take it down? What do you want? I wanted to take him down. Take it down. I'm ordering you to take it down. In fact, you're going to take it down before you leave my courthouse. That's okay. how much I want you to take it down. All right? So you're going to take it down. Now, what do I do about the fact that this guy has traveled all the way over here, has listened to your phone calls, got ended up getting sued? What do I do about that? Just want the right thing. That's all. Yeah, well, it's not worth $5,000. <laughs> I mean, I, I might pay $5,000 to have this story. <laughs> I'm ordering you to pay the man. You do have to be careful about stuff like this. You know, this causes people angst. Getting sued causes people angst. You have to sue the right guy. Now, in fairness to her, her the address that she put on was not the address that the friend gave from Providence. No. Yeah, and so she didn't pick that address to sue you at. She picked the other address. She thought she had the right guy. You know that, mm -hmm. right? She thought that the right guy was a snake um, pretending to be the wrong guy. You understand what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to order the um, plaintiff to pay the, f the defendant $500 for his troubles. I think Thank that's you, fair. Honor. Good luck, folks. Well, in what I believe may be a first here in the people's court, the plaintiff has sued the wrong person and got him into court. What do you, how do you feel about this? I don't know how the address and the phone number got mixed up, but this isn't him, and he was from Taunton. So, I don't no, know. No, he's not from Taunton. No, not him, but the one that but did you my were, patio. you were bugging him on the phone. You... I called him a few times, not yeah. 20 or 30, but definitely called him. He sounded familiar to me. Do you feel sorry for him? I do a little bit. Maybe I'll yeah. apologize. Apologies. Is that how you do it? Apologies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, got another court case coming yes. up. Yes. Good luck to you that time. Thank you. Make sure you got the right guy. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, ma'am. Will the real Nelson Raposo step out here? He just doing? did. He just did. How are you? Good, and you? You've, this, what an experience, huh? Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> I mean, kind of crazy to get sued, and you know you're, you're not the guy. Of course not. It's not good being sued so, like being somebody else. Do you think it's hurt your business at all, or you don't know? I don't know. That's, that's a big mark question right now. Okay. Well, you made it to the people's court. Congratulations. Yes, I did. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> and congratulations for winning. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, very good. <laughs> Harvey? Doug, she did go back to court. The real Raposo showed up and she won her case.